She's been called the mother of punk, the diva of rock, and the most intelligent and amusing person with pink hair on the planet. This is her latest album right here, Nina Hagen in Ecstasy. Please welcome singer Nina Hagen. <laughs> Have a seat. Good Lord. Now, uh, I, I said you had pink hair, and you had the pink hair here on the album. Obviously, you're not wearing pink hair tonight. No, I just come from Greece and from Spain, and I wanted to um, look more Greek and more Spanish because we just shot a video down there for Spirit in the Sky, the old hippie Norman mm -hmm. Greenbaum hit mm -hmm. from the 60s. Mm -hmm. So you changed your hair for that purpose? Uh-huh. Is it? I do always you mind change. if I touch this? The hair part? <laughs> It's, um, it's this is not yours, is it? No. no. Now, how much, how much of what we see there is actually your hair? Well, I have, like, such a tail mm -hmm. myself. Now, will you, will you be turning it back to pink soon? Maybe. Uh -huh. and, and what would cause that? Is, there, is it a conscious decision? Do you just wake up one day and say, let's go pink? Or, or how does... See, I was, I was traveling on our tour bus through Europe, and I was thinking, I want to have long, blonde hair. And my stylist and the woman who changes my costumes wh while I have uh, my show on stage. Uh -huh. What's her name? Trisha. Trisha. Um, she is a hairstylist and she can do extensions, which is very in, in London. And what does that mean, extensions? Extensions is you suddenly have long hair when you have short hair. <laughs> you can, and you can sleep with this and uh, you have it forever, as long as you want to. Okay, now back up here a second. <laughs> Trisha could take my hair just as it is mm -hmm. and make you look like boy George no no but she <laughs> she, she, can, she can make short hair long yes she can and, and in, and a, in a short period of time or does it take like a couple of weeks no it takes like half an hour now how do you do that uh, you uh, iron them on like with uh, some glue and with some hot, <laughs> with some fire, with fire. She's fire. She oh, puts fire that on way. your hair. So then it's perfectly safe. <laughs> um, okay, enough about the hair. You look great. I mean, you're stunning. You make a real stunning appearance. I like your look myself. Thank too. you very much. Now, now you're you're more than just a a musician. You're 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 a Explain what kind of a performer you are. You're okay. Uh, it's beyond words, of course, and you <laughs> you have to you have to see my show to believe that I'm the only unique Nina Hagen mm -hmm. on this planet. Mm -hmm. Major uh, major star in Europe and and as well here in the United States. Are you as? Oh, I have a following wherever, uh -huh. whenever I am on tour. They come. It's always sold out. You're touring the United States now? Yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. And I play on Saturday in New York. Yeah. And, and uh, tell people who may not have been to one of your shows what kind of... Okay. Um, I'm an opera singer. I can sing Brecht Weil. Um, I create my own lyrics. Uh, I have a great band. I have a drummer from East Berlin. I, me, myself, I'm also from East Berlin. I grew up in the Bertolt Brecht Kurt Weil tradition, um, also in the old... Um, hippie tradition. When I was 11, I was a big fan of Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin, and they are still my heroes. And uh, I uh, sing songs about UFOs, God, um, love, sex, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> but all of this information is on the tickets when the folks pick them up, so. No. Uh, we have a bit of you, uh, I guess this is from a video, or is this you in concert or both? Uh, that's both. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you know where this was filmed? Yes, it was Rock in Rio, the biggest open oh, air and, festival and after Brazil? Woodstock. Was it in Brazil? In Brazil. All right. South this is uh, Nina Hagen uh, performing here, folks. Watch closely, uh, and then we'll come back and chat a little more. <laughs>
Um, uh, we were uh, talking about you this afternoon, getting ready for your appearance on the show, and I came up that you've seen uh, uh, a UFO in Malibu. Yeah. That How was long ago fun. was this? That was when I was pregnant with uh, Cosma, who is four years old now. That was in the middle of the night, and it was great. I was mesmerized. I couldn't think anymore, and I... I <laughs> <laughs> it was a great feeling, and it was hanging right over me. It was the beach where Bob Dylan and Barbara Streisand also have their houses. Uh -huh. The beach which was overwhelmed by the ocean last year, and um, it, it was showing all kinds of colors, uh, a real light show. How big was it? Ten meters, mm -hmm. big and round, and... Um, Glowing? Glowing in different colors, yellow, pink, green, turquoise, mm -hmm. and every each color had another feeling, made me yeah. feel different. Was it doing any hair extending? Uh, I'll tell you what, hang on a second, Nina, we'll be right back. We have to do a commercial, and then we're coming back here. To uh, Ms. Humidity, Claire Henderson, also Paula Poundstone, Nina Hagen, you'll be at the Beacon Theater this Saturday in New York. Good luck to you, nice meeting you. Marv Albert also. Join Dave tomorrow with Pee Wee Herman. Or have a nice night, folks. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>